This is my time stretcher device. It's a device for both composition and improvisation. It allows me to record or drag one loop into this buffer and separately time stretch this twice. So each time stretcher has different settings which can be customized to reach a desired end. So this includes a start, stop playback, a restart, which triggers it back to the beginning of the loop. It contains a loop on or off. That means when it reaches the end, whether it'll restart at the very beginning of the loop. You're able to determine where the time stretcher is using this float. So as you can see, it's, moved, so it's scrolling through the time stretcher here when I move that. There's a stretch which determines the rate it moves through each time stretcher. There's a magnitude which acts as a filter. There's a freeze, which when this is triggered, it will stop at a certain point within the time stretcher. It's also possible to add pitch shifts to each time stretcher. So this includes six different pitches, each of which can have a gain, making them more or less prominent. So this actually doesn't have to be on all the time. Therefore, during performances, you can turn this on and off. So I can show you what it sounds like now. I'll show you one time stretcher in isolation first. So I'm going to start the first one. Restart it. Now I'll change the stretch. So basically the lower it is, the faster it'll go through and you can see it moving through here faster when it's on zero. Whereas if it's at 100, it'll be very gradual movement. I'll put on the magnitude now. Freeze. Pitch shifting. And now I'll put on both loops. <laughs> 